The Lord's Supper takes on a different tone in the Gospel of John, and the narrative centers around the washing of feet. Jesus wraps a towel around his waist and stoops down to wash his disciples' feet. And remember, this is first century Palestine. There are no socks or shoes or odor eaters to keep feet relatively clean. The disciples would have been walking around in sandals all day long. Actually, it isn't difficult to imagine animal dung littering those streets. In any case, I think we can safely say that their feet stank. How is it then that Jesus would deign to take the posture of a servant and do something so gross? Well, that's exactly Peter's point. You will never wash my feet, he exclaims. But then Jesus makes things strikingly clear. What he does, he does as a model for us to follow. This is a blueprint for us to follow then, so that we can become more humble, more servile, and less egotistical. Perhaps it's not a stretch to say that the dirt could be used as a metaphor for sin as well. By the power of the cross, Jesus has cleansed us from sin once and for all. Maybe we too can come to each other's assistance to help each other to become less sinful, to make each other spotless. You see, a real friend tries to make you better. A fake friend leaves you as you are, in the dirt. So even though you're unable to practice this ritual at church today, I encourage you to try it at home. And if you've never washed anyone else's feet, I'll tell you now, it can be uncomfortable, it can be awkward, it can be smelly. But isn't that the whole point? Jesus does this for his disciples, and we're not better than Jesus. God bless you as you think about these things today on Holy Thursday.